all over and hopefully you can't hear my fan in the background it's quite hot in here it's like a super clear day I feel like we're gonna struggle with the lighting today but I just really feel like filming so we're just gonna give it a go today's theme as you can see by the title is a full face of makeup from brands I've never tried before and I'm so excited there's some brands here I've been dying to try for a while so we're just gonna dive in I've got my little hair clips back so beauty I'm just gonna use these to clip my hair off my face cuz you know I am so hyped especially for this I'm so excited Patrick Tar makeup oh I've been really 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 looking forward to trying this first we've got like a skincare product so this is by skin proud I think you can get it off like Beauty Bay or something like that. I don't know. I'll link it below. But I got this like PR package full of their makeup or full of their skincare, sorry. Um, and this caught my attention because of the name. It's called Sorbet Skin Everyday Jelly Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. So I'm just going to pop some on because I haven't moisturized yet. And I've also got a coffee because I am tired. I'm really feeling this third trimester now. And by the way, I don't really know what I'm going to do for like my schedule once baby's here like I'm still gonna be filming videos still gonna be doing makeup videos you know still gonna be active on social media and everything I just don't know like you know how much of a break I'm gonna take I don't know anything yeah and I was like oh I can pre-film lots of content but honestly I'm just tired <laughs> so hopefully you guys understand um but I feel like I'll be quite active on my Instagram stories because I always kind of am usually oh that's yum honestly buying this coffee machine was my best idea this is cute packaging very y2k packaging oh my gosh look how young that looks it's like cotton candy colored i was gonna say flavored no colored i'm just gonna take a little bit and massage this over my skin i just fake tanned my face with make so beauty fake tan so that's been sitting and brewing for a little bit oh my, i've got so many little fluffies because i just washed my hair okay that's better Oh, I like the smell. It is scented, but it's not like strong. I like it. Is it scented? I think it's scented. It smells like perfumey and it feels incredible and lightweight and melts in. It reminds me of the, <laughs> I've talked about this one again recently, but you know the Clinique, I think Moisture Surge one, is that what it was called? And it was like a gel formula. It reminds me of that inconsistency, which I really like that. Especially for daytime, it just like, I don't know it's quite fun and it kind of wakes you up because it's quite cooling and I like the like texture of it by the way this top is like a huge oversized shirt I've just knotted it in the front I love it it's from Boohoo a while ago but I think they still have them every time I wear it in like pictures and stuff people ask me where it's from because the fabric's really cool okay I'm gonna put on this lip mask I feel like maybe I've tried one thing from this brand like a very long time ago it was either this brand or it was oh, what's the brand I don't know I honestly <laughs> I can't remember was it this I don't know I don't have any recollection of anything but we're gonna treat this like brand new maybe it wasn't this brand I don't <laughs> anyway I've got a few things from this brand so this is Ilia and this is their lip rack why can't I read <laughs> lip wrap hydration mask or hydrating mask literally I feel like you're gonna pick up the fact that I am very tired right now I haven't even done anything like you just you just get tired I guess I'm growing a human being and stuff, but it's unreal. Oh, that feels so good. So, so creamy, not sticky. And it just, it's got like a subtle kind of like minty kind of feeling, I think. Mm, I really like that. That feels really, really good. And I think, you know, obviously you would usually put on a lip mask perhaps overnight or when you're not re wearing product on top of it, let it really sink in for like ages. But we'll just wear it while we do the rest of our makeup. Literally, I'm just like downing this coffee at this point. Okay, let's go on with this product, which I'm so excited for. So I've been wanting to try Patrick Tar makeup for a little while now. And I finally went on at Sephora. I think it's Sephora and picked some up. I got a few different things. So this is the Tinted Brow Shaping Wax. The packaging is so pretty. Like the box, I mean. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just getting there. That's nice. It's just like a rose gold compact. I've heard good things about this. How do I open it? Here we go. So that's what it looks like brand new. It looks a little bit like bumpy. It must just be like the pouring process. It's got a huge mirror in it too, which is handy. And usually I use tinted brow wax like this when I don't have tinted eyebrows, but currently my eyebrows are still tinted. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be like too much, but we'll just test it for the formula anyways. Um, I love tinted ones when I've got, you know, blonde eyebrow hairs. It makes such a big difference. 
How do I use this? Okay, you do have to activate it. Activate it with a water or setting mist. Brush a spoolie through it. Pick up a small amount. Brush through. Brows in a desired motion. Shape is desired. Kind of messy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this out. I really need to wash my brushes. I have no clean brushes. And that includes this spoolie. Oh my God. This works so much quicker than the pink honey one. And it's less messy. You know how the pink honey one kind of like pastes everywhere and I have to go around with a q-tip afterwards and clean it all up? This one I still got it a little bit everywhere but it doesn't leave such like a thick layer of tint around my brows like it kind of just sticks to the hairs and doesn't stick to the skin so much which I really like so straight away I'm impressed. Let's try pressing it in and see if it like smudges everywhere. Oh my gosh I think that looks so good. It feels really smooth too to the touch when I'm touching it with my fingers and flattening it out. Please, please, please hold well. Because if this holds well, that's like a game changer. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so you can see. Like I'm not being careful at all and look, it's not just like wiping all over my skin. So this is the kind of product, like even if I was wearing no makeup, that literally is like 15 seconds per eyebrow. <laughs> like if you wanted to rush it. And you could like do that and leave the house. It like gives that illusion of slightly fuller brows. Um, just makes them look nice. A little bit tinted. And just makes such a difference to your overall face. Like it just lifts. Like that's why I love doing my eyebrows like this. I just think it lifts my face. Okay, so far, literally like this could be holy grail status. Like this could be one of the best brow soaps I've ever used. Oh my gosh. And if it holds well, I need to buy the clear one too, but already like the tinted one's not too much. You know, sometimes other tinted ones can be a little bit too much if I've already tinted my brows as well. This isn't too much. It just defines. Let me zoom you in so I can show you what I mean. Like it defines every hair. See, there's a couple of stubborn ones, but I don't really care about those. Overall, like it just kind of separates and I love that. Oh my God. Woo. Okay, we're off to a pretty good start. I'm a little bit nervous of how this is gonna go. Oh my gosh, please hold because that looks so good. Okay, have any of you guys tried the Patrick Tarte brow wax thing? Like, what do you guys think of it? Am I being over, over excited or is it actually good? Like, here we go. Is this something you guys think is scammy or do you genuinely think they work? So this is the Ilia blue light filter mist it's a blue light filter so you know protects against blue light from screens and so on and so forth a multi-benefit mist that delivers hydration balances surface oil and helps to protect skin from blue light apply under makeup to prep your skin or obviously at the end of your makeup to finish what do you think gimmick or could be legit let's try it before and after i like the packaging it's so simple but looks really nice okay it's like kind of like foaming at the mouth Oh, why does that smell like spray and wipe? It's kind of freaking me out because it literally smells like spray and wipe, but I do feel like the sprayer, like it's kind of foamy and the sprayer kind of only sprays in like a strip like this. So you kind of have to like move your head around. It's not like super fine. Like it's fine. There's no like lumps of product on my skin, but I don't know how to describe it. But I can tell you this much. It feels so, <laughs> so hydrating my skin and look how quick it's soaked in. I can't feel it at all. So hopefully that's a really good sign for like after makeup too. Like hopefully it'll just like melt into the skin and melt into the makeup and just look amazing. We'll find out. All right, looks like I've got a couple of different foundations from this Ilia brand as well. This one is the Super Serum Skin Tint Foundation, which sounds like it would be like quite a low kind of coverage and it looks like this. Either way, I will get around to trying both of these. Um, but the other one I also have is the True Skin Serum Foundation. So they're both called Serum Foundations, but I think I'll try out this one as long as the other color is a bit darker than that because, woo, that's going to be way too pale. I did not check this before I started filming because I probably shouldn't have fake tanned. Yeah, that one's a lighter shade. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to try this. All right, so this is the shade Aura, O-R-A, ST6 over the Super Serum Skin Tint Foundation. This has SPF 40, which sounds amazing, hydrating, natural coverage, niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. Now, I have no idea. Do I just use a brush, maybe, with this formula? It looks so runny. I feel like you could use your fingers, but I just am not a huge fan of fingers for foundation. I might use a brush. I feel like it's so runny and serum that if I use a sponge, like, is it just going to soak it up? 
So this is a flat face brush by XO Beauty. And I mean, that coverage looks decent to me. I was expecting far less coverage. And the brush is working really well to smooth that out. It's real weird. It kind of like looks really pale when you like tap at it. And then you let it kind of adjust to your skin. Like it sits on the skin and it kind of goes a little bit darker when it's like drying, I guess. I am going to try and avoid <laughs> the brows. So I don't want to get makeup all through them. But when working with those like brow waxes that we've used today, typically I like to do them before I start my foundation and everything because otherwise I feel like your foundation like just gets screwed up from the wax later if you use it afterwards. I actually feel like this formula could look okay with a sponge. I don't know. I'll have to try it. As I'm blending it, it almost feels like, not sticky, but like, I don't know how to describe it. I get the double chin, honestly. Pregnancy has blessed me with this. <laughs> Every day I wake up and I'm like, I feel like less and less like myself, but I know it's all gonna be worth it. I think it's that like third trimester thing where it's just like, you know, you really start feeling everything. Like the second trimester is all beautiful and lovely and like amazing. And then third trimester comes and you're like exhausted. You have to roll out of bed. <laughs> like you can't like do all these things that you used to be able to do even just going for like walks like I feel exhausted and like puffed because my lungs are so squashed I'm like fiending for when I'm not pregnant anymore not breastfeeding or whatever I can get this freaking what is this wrinkle <laughs> zapped by some Botox I'm like fiending it honestly yeah look so that's how it looks when it's like first on but I feel like it dries almost like the perfect shade for me right now as my tan develops. I really messed up with like the Botox and everything because when I was trying to conceive, I was like, oh, I just won't get any, like just in case I'm pregnant and I don't know it, you know, and I go and get Botox, like I'm sure like it'll be fine. <laughs> Cause you know, they don't put Botox in pregnant people cause of like ethical reasons really. But like, cause like, you know, they don't test on pregnant people. They don't test these things. <sighs> but I was still like, no, I'll just like not get any while we're trying just in case. And I'm like, God damn it, I had so long. I could have cut my Botox before getting pregnant, but hey. It actually is something that I love to do for myself though. Like, it just makes such a difference in just smoothing small areas. And I feel like it's really helped my skin just stay nice, you know, throughout my late 20s, especially just preventatively. Cause even though like I'm bothered by this ring, it's really not that bad. So I always think like, I wonder how much worse it would have been. Cause it's always kind of been there. And I've always just treated it, you know? I know it's not for everyone, by the way. I'm not trying to like tell everyone to go get Botox, but I'm just saying it's something that I'm actually really looking forward to doing again. Fillers, like, fillers are fun to experiment with a little bit. I've only done a little bit. Like I had a little bit in my lips once, no, twice. I had a little bit in my cheeks twice, a little bit in my chin once. I really like the chin. I think it helped to like make my face look more symmetrical. I've only ever done really small amounts. Like I've never had like, I don't think I've ever had more than like one syringe because I don't know I don't want to like make myself look too different you know but it is fun just to like even up little things but I also feel like it's easy to get like too obsessed with like making yourself look too even when like faces aren't even but that's why I liked where I used to go to get my fillers and stuff because they kind of just made everything natural to that person I guess it depends like who you go to like fillers yeah I like them but Botox Botox is my sis, especially for like those like tight muscles. I get it to treat my TMJ. If you've never heard of that and you suffer, definitely look into it. Like literally, even just medically, it's so, so helpful. Um, and it also helps to like get rid of that really strong jaw that you get from like chewing and grinding. And it just like stops the headaches. It stops the freaking sore teeth, the sore like muscles. It's just legendary literally my dentist recommended it to me years ago and i cannot wait to get some more anyway before i do any concealer i'm loving how this is looking by the way i think that is beautiful look how glowy it is it's so so glow if you don't like a glow don't even go near this like look at that it's like glass skin this brand here trini london is this high end it's made in italy i reckon this is surely high end I was sent this from somewhere. Let me Google. This is Gaia. Yay, I love that. And it's Golden Glow. I guess it's just like a bronzer. So I think this is a London, well, yeah, duh, it's a London brand chain. Brand name's literally Trini London. Oh my god, don't mind me. By the way, sorry if I sound stuffy. Hay fever, pregnancy, I don't know what it is, but wow, I cannot breathe right now. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty pricey. 30 euros for this product, I'm pretty sure. It's not cheap. 
let's try it out. I'm gonna use my Exo Beauty sponge. This is just like the teardrop shape. It is, it is clean, kind of. <laughs> okay, it looks quite creamy as I applied it to my sponge. I'm gonna apply a little bit down my nose. I do have a powder bronzer too, so we'll also use that, but I feel like these kind of products hopefully will look really nice together since it's kind of like that natural glowy creamy look, you know, right now, before I said anything. Okay, I'm gonna try it with my finger, even though I don't like my finger for stuff, but I just wanna see if I can more pay off. It's quite a subtle color on my skin tone. I don't know if it's my skin tone or the product, but it looks ridiculously natural to the point where I'm like, is it worth it? Okay, here we go. It's pretty, but it's so subtle. Oh my God, did I ding my finger in it? Okay, I'm like literally like applying quite a thick layer now. It is pretty, it's so, once again, so natural, so subtle. I think if you like a really natural look, you'll like it. It's really easy to blend and really easy to apply. I feel like you can't screw it up. And it just gives you like a hint of a bronze look, if you can see. I do like the undertone. I just think it's so subtle. I don't know, I do love a very bronzed look. So maybe for me, I'm just like, oh, it's not like full on enough. But in saying that, I think a lot of people would like this because not everyone likes really full on bronzer like I do, you know? I think a lot of people that like a natural look will love this product because it just literally melts in and like you can't even see where it starts or ends. It just gives you that bronzed glow. So it's definitely good. I just don't know if it's like exactly my preference, if you know what I mean. But it's so easy to use. The quality feels really nice. Let's try some more of their products because I have this Alison Just a Touch, which I'm pretty sure hopefully is a concealer. I mean, I'm using it like a concealer. I'm going to use my sponge. The pigmentation looks there. And let's see. Ooh, see that. That was like enough for both eyes. Maybe I just need like a darker color of the bronzer to like fit my preference. This is probably the right shade for my skin tone. It look, yeah, it does look really good. Like the more I look at it, I'm like, it looks really good, but I'm interested to see if they've got a darker one now. Okay, this concealer or whatever this is, that's so glowy and brightening. That really just transformed my dark circles immediately. I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and just take a little bit of product and just put it over this like purple. I think the coverage is really decent and more so just like the finish is so stunning. I'm gonna use this just to like carve out my brows a little. Once again, this formula feels really easy to work with. Very creamy. Got no complaints with the formula, that's for sure. This would be really good for people with drier under eyes because it just feels really hydrating, I don't know. It reminds me a little bit of the, what's that brand? Glamier, wait, why is my brain not working today? Glamier, no. What's that brand, do you know the one everyone hypes up? Oh my God, I was so close yet so far. Glossier, it reminds me of the Glossier like concealer in the consistency. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't like sink into my fine lines under my eyes. I feel like it's separating a little bit on the eyelids, but we'll just keep an eye on it. Either way, I really like the way it looks. I feel like so glowy right now though, so we need to tone this down a little bit. First, I just have one more product. This one's an Ilia one again, and it is the Multi Stick in Dreamer, and it's this product here. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna just dive in. I'm gonna use the bum end of my sponge. This looks like such a natural color for me. Like it looks like the kind of color my cheeks naturally are. And I do have um, Patrick Tarr stuff that I wanna use. So I don't wanna put on too much of this, but I just wanted to see what it was like. Once again, just so natural. I think if you like natural makeup, this brand will definitely be for you. Not natural as in like no pigment or anything like that. But natural is in just the like textures and colors like just melt into the skin and they're so easy to use. For me, this is like a better version of Glossier, personally. I don't know, I didn't really see the hype. I'll list my video down below where I did like a full face of Glossier makeup and I'll see if you can see what I mean. Cause yeah, hopefully you can kind of understand where I'm coming from, like what I mean by, you know, similar vibes, I think. Wait, I'm sure I got a Patrick Tarr. Blush, did I not get the blush duos? Maybe I didn't, maybe it was sold out. I'm sure I picked it up. Okay, yeah, from memory now I'm remembering. I'm pretty sure the blushes that I wanted from Patrick Tar was sold out. So maybe we don't have a blush to use, but we do have another one from um, Trini London. And this color looks so pretty. Looks like this. And this color looks so stunning, don't you reckon? It's like the perfect pale 
pastel peach. So I'm using the bum end of my sponge again and also applying, oh yeah, okay, I like this color better than the last color. That's so pretty, it makes my skin look so fresh. Like it's instantly really brightening. I was worried it might be a little bit too light, but it's really not, it just brightens my skin. We do have the LH Cosmetics Blotting Powder. So this isn't like a full on setting powder, it's just like for oil and stuff, but I'm still gonna use it just to kind of set some areas of my face. So this is by Linda Hall Halberg or Hallberg. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. And it says powder on the run, a translucent mattifying and blurring blotting powder to use anytime during the day on top of your makeup or alone to be shine free in a sec. And it just looks like this. And I think it just must come in one color maybe. It's vegan and it's made in Italy and it comes with this puff which is like very luxurious. It feels like velvet or something. So I'm just going to try it and I'm just going to mattify like some areas. Like I'm going to use it under my eyes to set. Oh it does a really good job and it looks invisible. Some translucent powders leave like a weird cast on my skin but this one really just melts in and looks like nothing. Okay now we're going to go in with this vapor. Um, I haven't really heard anything about this brand. I bought this off, I can't remember, Sephora or Mecca or something. This is the shade Eclipse and the packaging looks real nice. Look at it. I like it. It's like, I don't know, it's got a nice feeling to it. It's like matte and the packaging is so skinny. Look at this. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. It's got like a bit of a shimmer through it. I'm using a powder brush. This is from our latest like nude brush set. I'll link it below. I'm just kind of buffing that around the edges of my face. I've messed up, yeah, I'm messing up my brows. Like, I feel like the pink honey one has a bit more hold than this, but it's so easy just to brush them back into place. Blah, blah, blah. So hopefully like once I'm done messing with my bronzer and powders around them, hopefully they'll just like stay good. This bronzer is not the best like bronzer I've ever used in my life, but it's pretty. Since we're here, we may as well just do some highlighter because, you know, I've only got one. This is the Alchemist Highlight Intensifier. Inten intensifier? What, what am I even saying? The highlighter for your highlighters. Applies a transformative cream topper for all of your face. Oh shit, okay. Mm, maybe I didn't know what I was buying. I feel like this has confetti in it. Okay, we got a sample of something. It's just paper, thank god. I thought it was going to be confetti. So, is this the brand? Ritual de Fil? I don't really know, but this is that. The Alchemist, yeah, I think that's the brand. The Alchemist is like the product name. Anyways, it's like a cream. Okay, I don't know if I knew what I was buying. This looks terrifying. It looks silver. I don't, hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. <laughs> this is like glitter, like dude. What the hell? I feel like pretty for a festival, but like, I honestly don't know how much use I would get out of this personally because it's kind of silvery and I'm just not a fan of like, I don't know, silver. Unless it's for like a certain vibe. But today's vibe is not it. What's the sample one? Ice Bow Pink Lavender Iridescent Dew. I mean, even that looks probably better than what I just used. So yeah, this is the Rare Light Cream Luminizer in Ice Bow. I don't know if it's gonna make it worse. I like how there's like a tiny little sample though. That's cute. Like, look how small. See, that formula is better though. It's not glittery. They do blend really well. I have to give them that. The formula themselves, like... In terms of blendability and ease of use, very easy. Um, the other one's way too chunky for my liking. I guess it's like because it's like a top coat or whatever it said. I don't know. I feel like I won't use this again. So this is very pretty when I hit the light, though, right? I'm I'm so confused. We have a couple of Linda Holberg um, LH Cosmetics palettes. This one here. This is the color palette. It's vegan as well. And we have the Enchanted Mysteries palette, which looks really cool, right? It's like metallic y cool vibes. I don't know. So I'm gonna go in with the color one at first. I'm gonna go in with beige. And I'm using an angled brush by Exo Beauty, angled eyeshadow, and just like stamping that through the crease. And then I'm gonna take a crease blender brush, a little bit of the same product, and just Blend that out. I'm so sorry if you can hear my music. I just realized it's kind of loud. The formula of these are so nice. They're so easy to blend. They're so pigmented. And I don't even have like a proper base on. Yeah, that's nice. I'm really not doing anything super special with my eye look today. We're just testing out a few colors. Might just do like a lower, like bright lash line or something. You know what? My litter might go back in with one of the Trini at London. I've got this like eye to eye 
MAC Minerva, is that how I pronounce this? It looks super shimmery, I might pop that on my lid. I'm just gonna use my concealer brush that I used earlier because I'm lazy and like I said, my brushes are dirty. And I'm just gonna pop that over the eyelid. I don't really think this eye shadow goes with the <laughs> crease very well because the crease is warm and then this is like a really cool tone, grayish taupe. But let's see what we can do. We need to make some magic happen. That looks very pretty though. I'm gonna go in with this palette, the Enchanted Mysteries, the same brush and take the gold and let's see how this looks when we layer them. Hopefully we can change like the tone. Ooh, yeah that worked really well. Look at that. That's actually so pretty. Now I'm gonna take a crease detail brush with the green. It's literally just called green and it is stunning. Like this color looks so pretty. I'm hoping it looks really cool underneath the eye. I just think this kind of green is so flattering on so many eye colors too. Okay, I found this pencil. It's not exactly the color I want because I wanted something to match like the eye pencil a little bit better, but you know, I can't use anything that I've already got. So we will try this. This is the LH Cosmetics again, Avoir Flash. It's like a little pencil. It's like a shimmery dark green. So we'll just see how it looks on the waterline. I did imagine something matte, you know, but I think this will still look really nice. It's so creamy. I'm just going to layer more of that green on top. I just don't know what to do on the top lashes to like balance this out. Maybe I'll just go back in with the green and wing this out a little. So I'm taking an eye definer brush by Exo Beauty and I'm just gonna drag the product into a wing shape and then just like slowly build it up. Cause like you need something up there otherwise it just looks really bottom heavy right now. And I think I might put like the other green on top of it cause I just really like the color. All right and then yeah, I'm gonna go in with this eye definer brush again with the green and kind of tap that on top. And it also kind of mattifies it, which I kind of like. So there's not too much shimmer on my lid because I've already got that shimmery eyeshadow and like metallic one on the lid. And it also kind of gives a really cool dimension to be honest. Yeah, I really like the formula of these. I think they're really good. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara Lift Lengthen and Curl. Doesn't say volumize, which I do like volumizing, but I do like curling. This is called After Midnight, the shade. And this is how the packaging looks. My skin looks so natural. Why does this smell weird? It smells, I don't know. It smells like something. See, like for me, I like mascaras that go on so like heavy immediately. This is really good for like um, separating though. It separates so good. So I'll give it a chance. I'll do a couple coats. Feels kind of wet. I just got it everywhere under my eye. Classic. The ones where there's like a straight side and then like all these little like curvy sides. I really hope I can make this look good because I cannot be bothered putting on false lashes today for some reason, which is very unlike me. So I'm really looking for some like nice volume to even out that lower lash, lash line. I like mascaras where I can wear one coat if I want. I don't like it when I'm forced to wear at least two. Cause you know, if I'm just whipping on makeup in the morning, I just want something that looks good like quick and then even better with more coats, you know? This one, like, it looks better with two coats, but I'm like, still not wowed. I feel like we're gonna have to use, like, false lashes. Like, we're just gonna have to. Let me get some ready. Yeah, look, I just think that the lashes are essential just to help balance out the look. I think they look so good. So these are the Diva Stacked Lashes by EXO Beauty. Um, and I've just got one on. <laughs> that wasn't clear so I'll pop this one on next but I just want to show you like the before and after I just feel like it really I don't know it makes the look way more sexy and cool I don't know I like it more all right so the lashes are on they're still drying but I feel so much better I didn't have any from a brand that I've never tried so you know now we're gonna try this Patrick Tarr Magic Headlines Precision Lip Crayon in oh she's single and the packaging is stunning once again I love it how weird oh my god do you click it you click it, okay. And it's like a rectangle shape. How unique. I haven't seen that before. It's a bit awkward to use, but I feel like you would get used to it. And you can get like a sharp line. The color is a little bit orangey, but I feel like it goes well with the um the eyes. Okay, niche question. Anyone excited for Overwatch 2? I'm watching the beta. Well, I'm not watching it right now, but I was watching it before I started filming. Like I said, niche question, but if you know, you know. I would use it again. Um, I'm not blown away, but I also love the color with the eyes. Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream, and I got the shade She's Unapologetic, and I have no idea. <laughs> Is this gonna match the lip, like, lip liner? I hope so. 
I just love these boxes, aren't they stunning? Ooh, okay, so it's like a liquid lipstick. Stunning packaging once again. Nice little doe for Abaca. It's actually a really nice small size. Good for detail work or like ombre. Ooh, that's so pigmented. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Okay, it's so pigmented. Oh, it's minty. It's a lip cream, so I don't think it's gonna dry like matte. I'm gonna use a small nipple brush, Bake So Beauty. And use this to blend. And I might actually just go back in with the lip pencil and just kind of like ombre it a little bit more because I feel like maybe that was like a bit too much of the pale colour. It's quite nice using like the wide side of the rectangle to kind of fill. All I can tell you is I want everything though from this brand because overall like I'm just really impressed. I don't know, it just like seems really nice and like I really want to try just everything so... I need to go like buy heaps and I really want to try out like the, I'm sure it's got like a bronzer duo or something, like um, blushes and things. Like I said, I was sure I bought one, but yeah, I think they were sold out. So hopefully I can like catch them when they're back in stock. Yeah. And the only thing with the brow soap, it's stuck better on this side. So I'm wondering if, yeah, maybe I got like a little bit of moisturizer in my eyebrows or something. Cause these products are better when like your skin's quite clean, obviously. Cause like they can just stick. And I'm wondering if I got like a little bit of moisturizer over this eyebrow and not this one and that's why this one's staying put because even though I put bronzer and stuff over this one it still stayed put. We're gonna do a final spritz of the Ilia Spray and Wipe. Wait I feel like if you're not from New Zealand you won't even know. Wait is Spray and Wipe an international brand? I don't know. Do you guys have Spray and Wipe from other countries? Please tell me because now this is gonna bother me. Anyway. It literally smells like Spray and Wipe. Beautiful product though. Like beautiful product. <laughs> I love the eye makeup. Like I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think my skin looks so natural. If you love natural skin, all of these products I use today like really give you that effect. I just think everything looks so natural. The highlight is a bit funny, but you know, other than that, let me know if there's any up and coming or new brands that you haven't seen me use before that you would like to see me use because I want to do another video like this really badly. I feel like there's so many cool brands out there that I just haven't even got my hands on, do you know what I mean? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't know what this is. <laughs> Bye.